Big day, everybody's talking about, of course, the solar eclipse. And can I just say that there is definite interest in Krispy Kreme donuts, too. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Because they're doing something that they've never done before. And the special treats hit this weekend. We have some here on our table. The North Carolina based company is switching their original glaze to chocolate mm, for today's mm, mm. total solar eclipse. Yes, so we want to give a big thank you to our friends at Krispy Kreme on Hirschberger Road. Go see them today, but be warned, they are very busy. So when our producer <laughs> went to pick these up today, they were packed inside, outside, drive through parking lot. So these are definitely a big hit. Um, they're all for the solar eclipse. So basically, they're, you know, just like the regular, they're not chocolate donuts. They're the regular Krispy Kreme donuts, but they're chocolate glazed. Is it glazed? Yeah. Yep. Instead. And let me tell you. They are just as delicious, if not more delicious. Mm. Natalie, what's your verdict? They're worth. Mm. They're worth the, the parking lot, the crazy <laughs> new. Yes, <laughs> the traffic, absolutely. The parking, the lines. So thank you to our mm -hmm. friends at Krispy Kreme. We really appreciate this, and uh, mm -hmm. we'll, our tummies will appreciate it in a little bit. All right, but what better way to celebrate this rare solar occurrence than in true daytime fashion with some? Trivia, our producer scoured the internet to find us the most challenging <laughs> and obscure solar eclipse trivia. All right, we are working together on it's this. Because it's going to be really it. hard. Okay. Okay. First up, yep. what is the umbra? Mm. Places not in the path of totality, moon's dark inner shadow, length of time an eclipse lasts, or ring of light around the moon? I want to say, say? What ring say of you? light around the moon. What do you want to say? That sounds good to me. Okay, what is it? Eh. Eh. Moon's dark in a... Oh, uh. all right. Okay. Oh, for one. All right, next one. How fast would you have to travel to keep up with the moon during an eclipse? Wow. 75 miles per hour in a car, 150 miles per hour on a train, 480 knots on commercial jet, or Mach 1.5 on a fighter jet. What do you, what'd you say? 150, 150 miles okay. per hour on a train. All right, I'm going with that. Is that the answer? Ah, oh my goodness. Wow. That's you fast. sure are moving, Moon. Okay. Whoa. Wow. That is incredible. That is incredible. Okay. All right. Name two of the four types of solar eclipses. Uh, uh, today's a total, total solar eclipse, and there's also partial. Partial. Did we get them? Partial? <laughs> yes. All right. We got that one. All right. Okay. What is that one? So far? Yep. True or false, during a total solar eclipse, it can become dark enough for stars to appear True. during the day. True, True. Yes. right? True. Yes, we will be able to see yes. some stars today. True. Very cool. I love it. All right. According to NASA, how often will a total solar eclipse happen where you live? Ooh. That's Ooh, a good question. That's a great question. I want to say 100 years because it's been 99 years since the last Let's one. Let's go with that. I think that sounds Are wonderful. Are we wrong? No, 375. Wow. wow. All right. Okay. All right. Um, what causes the mysterious Bailey's beads to appear during a total solar eclipse? Uh, sun shining through moon's craters, solar flares, or gas escaping the moon's atmosphere? I want to say solar, solar flares? flares. Solar flares. Oh, oh my gosh! Sun shining through mountains, mountains and craters. Craters on the moon. Huh. Fine. Okay. This is fascinating. Are you all learning? We're learning a lot. We here. are learning a lot. Yeah. Okay. The last one. The layer of the sun's atmosphere that can only be seen during a total solar eclipse is the corona, hydrosphere, photosphere, chronosphere, chronosphere. 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 Can we ask a lifeline? Lifeline, Jonathan, lifeline. Kegis. Jonathan Kegis. Do you know the answer to this? Yes. What do you got? So, uh, maybe the first one. Maybe the first, first one. one. He says corona. corona. Yes, I love it. We should have had ask him in on a all of these. All right. Um, love it. I mean, I'd say we did pretty. No, Pretty we, all right. We got, what, three? We did not do well. Three That's is okay. not bad. We're learning. Yes. And if you didn't get the right glasses, which we did not, nope. uh, you can always watch it on a live stream on NASA's website. NASA's live eclipse programming begins at noon today, and throughout the day, NASA will be there for the path of totality from so cool. Oregon across the U.S. to South Carolina. Coverage will include live reports from Salem, Oregon, Idaho Falls, Idaho, Beatrice, Nebraska, Jefferson City, Missouri, Carbondale, Illinois, Hopkinsville, Kentucky, Clarksville, Tennessee, and Charleston. Mm -hmm. Simply visit nasa.gov 
to watch. Cool. All right, this is interesting. So many people think that it's safe to take a selfie with the eclipse in the background mm -hmm. since you're not looking directly at it. Yes, right? I would do that. No. Okay. According to a retina expert at Columbia University Medical Center, mm -hmm. don't do it. You may not realize that the screen of your phone reflects the ultraviolet rays <gasps> emitted during an eclipse directly towards your eye which can result in a solar burn. Oh no. Here's some more trivia for you. Sir Isaac Newton suffered retinal damage after looking at the reflection of an eclipse in the surface of a pond. Oh no. The archaic equivalent of the cell phone screen. Right. And viewing the eclipse through a telescope can also damage the retina as Galileo himself learned because the device magnifies the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. Oh boy. Okay, so, so no don't, selfies. Don't take selfies. I wonder if I wonder if though how quick you can do it. You know, like let's say <laughs> Do you really what if you put want your, to chance it? Maybe right no. now burn does like, not what sound if you, what if you awesome. cover like what if you cover everything but the camera? Then it's not reflecting, right? Fine, I won't These millennials do it. will not listen to me! <laughs> Listen, if we don't take a picture, it didn't, didn't happen. happen. Exactly. Don't you know I that? Get it. I get it. All right. Well, summer is winding down. And if you haven't been yet, you need to head to Splash Valley to get the most of the final summer day. So we are giving away not one, but two family four packs of tickets to have fun in the sun on us. Okay. So today's secret phrase is back to school. I know. Mm -hmm. Back to school. Let me tell you. So. Yes. Don't forget, Splash Valley closes on Labor Day, so you want to get those tickets and use them soon. Find the contest post on our Facebook page and post that code phrase back to school in the comments to be entered to win. We will announce our winner tomorrow morning right here. And just a reminder, you can find these contest rules and all of our other contests and giveaways. Just head over to WSLS.com slash contest. 